the thing is, you know, like with people, they don't think you can have fun at work. That's true. But I, when I'm doing my thing, I have the time of my life every single time. Time of my life. It depends. I hope I hope I have fun tomorrow. We gonna see when I. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know if I have fun when I get there tomorrow. Oh. I'm so you gonna stay to work? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. You able to say what? What you gotta do? Hmm. You able to say what you gotta do? Oh yeah. I, um. This is a casting call. Okay. You gonna be in that bitch like? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. For my little. No. Well, by the way, by the way, by the way, I'm fine with mine. Well, we just legend bottle, and this is my man Dan, aka Innocence. <laughs> yes. Well, do yourself a favor. Wait, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you see, we be. Hey, you see, we be <laughs> right into <laughs> energy. It was that energy thing. Okay. 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 Okay, you okay. Need to, you, I know you put your purse on yeah, the Yeah, I'm really not, and you caught it, and wait, you started the video. <laughs> I need some. But you need some space. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're we gonna work some. Wait, I might have it. Hold on, you sure? Wait, 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 we wait, got wait. another one. Wait, wait. We do got another one. Just give, just give a break, put a bring chair over here. And put it like right there. Yeah. It's okay. This, like, this, this, we we chill at the crib, yeah. and we gonna keep all this. We got like two minutes worth of bloopers already. Yes. <laughs> there, two, we, as a purse shall be. That's the first promo. You know what I'm saying? As a purse shall be. <laughs> Damn it. No. Know the etiquette. All right, one more. Sometimes you got, you got bookings. Mm -hmm. you know no, that ain't that. I just time, no, it could come. It could tonight, be. But that ain't gonna be. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 protect the innocent. Protect, protect the innocent. Protect the innocent. But anyways, we got a special guest with us. We got Destiny. You know what I'm saying? The lovely, the beautiful, the outrageous. You know what I'm saying? Destiny. Hi guys, I'm Destiny. So can you tell them what you do? Yes, I model. I am a scientist, and what else I do, y'all? I public speak. I host. Come on. I do what? What? I do a lot, y'all. But my main occupation would be modeling right now. Okay. 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 So, why do you do what you do? Like, how do you get into modeling, and why do you want to, I guess, be a scientist? Now? Yeah, like yeah, I want to. How did that come together? You know what I mean? I, those two, yeah, yeah, they are two opposite worlds. Um, but I think that's me. I'm more so the type of person. I write my own narrative. I don't like to be fit into stereotypes or you know boundaries. I think you can do it all as a woman. You know, you don't have to fit into one specific stereotype like society tries to make you do. Yeah. Um, so science. I just always love science. Like I'm, I'm a really like a nerd. Honestly, like it doesn't look like it. But if I had on my glasses, I took them off before this. <laughs> I, I, you would see the nerd side of me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it comes very natural. Um, I always knew I wanted to do science, but with modeling, I just had a knack for. I love acting. Like any type of acting, being behind film. I just liked it. And so I was like, you know, if it fell into place after I pursued my education, then I'm like, it's meant to be. And it oh, did. Okay. So, so what type of scientist would you have been if you would have stayed with that? Or, I mean, you should, well, you know, you my ultimate goal is to go to medical school. Okay. So, be a gynecologist. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, alright, 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 man. Yeah, I'm like three fourths the way there, okay? I oh. stopped in my master's in May. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Most people can't do that. Let me tell you. It, it wasn't easy, I'll give you that. That's the other thing you do. Like it, it, you it gotta fit that in. You say, alright, I'm dedicated to getting this done. Oh yes, it was timing was everything. Yeah. So how do you do it? Like what's like step by step? Like, what did that look like? So, you mean like how I came about it? Well, yeah, on your way to success, you know what I'm saying, to where you are now, like, uh -huh. you know, you got in college. Like, what type of hustle did it take to get to? Okay, I see what you're saying. So, the determination is everything. Like, I'm the type of person, I'm not content unless I'm juggling multiple things. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, if I'm sitting still too long or if... I'm not doing anything, I'm not satisfied. Yeah. So it's like 
something that might give someone a instant gratification. I do get gratification, like for instance, when I graduated with my master's. I was happy, yes, but it, it wore off very fast. And I was like, right after graduation, I'm like, okay, no, now I'm, I'm bored again. Like I need to start doing something. So for me, my determination was, was everything. But I was sort of, that was just, I was born with that though. Like I'm used to juggling a lot. And I feel like I said, I if I'm not. Okay. So what has like the experience been with juggling everything you do and still trying to go to school right. and model, and right. you know, potentially act and and also join a sorority, like you know, yeah, like that's a whole other ball. Yeah. It was it was a lot. I mean, some situations I was like, how am I? What did I do? Like, I put 10 things on my plate and I don't know how I'm going to eat all of this, you know? And honestly, wow, time management is the main thing I can um, say that got me through because timing was everything with all of that. I mean, a very strict timeline, but it all had to fall in place perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like, if I had waited even a month later, everything wouldn't have worked out the way it did. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, planning was everything for me. That's real. Yeah. That's definitely real. So, what um, what have been one of your favorite, you know, shoots that you've done? Shoots? Okay. My favorite so far, I was in Malibu, California, and <laughs> the photographer saw this, this rock, this algae rock. And I don't know if y'all have ever played or felt algae, but it is the most slimy thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, like it reminds mm -hmm. me like, you know when you were in kindergarten and you had some type of like goo, like you would we play with it, the glue. We called it gat back in the day. Yes, that's exactly. Gat, gat. <laughs> it made a sound when you squished yes, it. Yes, like. that's exactly what it is. Okay. Like imagine that. We had, I don't. We had gag. Where you from? I'm from St. Louis. Oh, yeah. Shout out, shout yeah. out, shout out. But I didn't know it was called gag. But we're on the same. <laughs> I got it on a home like video. <laughs> me talking about it and saying gag. Okay, <laughs> no, I didn't well, know. I guess that. nobody cares. Well, I mean, I no, hey, we might put it. But up. I'm glad you relate. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm saying at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. So, um, he saw a rock and it was, oh my gosh, the slip, it was so slippery, y'all. Like, I would try to get on it and slide right back down. <laughs> like, it, was, it was like, what, how am I going to do this? Like, yeah. luckily I have a dance background, but um, that was the only thing that helped me with that rock. And I, I think that's my favorite because I pushed myself, so it was nothing simple. But when you see those images, you're like... I pulled that off. <laughs> so where do you think you get your drive from then? Definitely the women in my family, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. I surrounded and I was raised by just strong women. And so with that, it, you know, embedded being strong and me unapologetically strong, especially in this society as a woman, um, it embedded that in me at a very young age. And so strong how it ties into all my goals and dreams i pursue them without any type of remorse mm -hmm. honestly mm -hmm. um i don't let anything get in my way i don't let much stop me okay <laughs> that's real she built she built herself up <laughs> and at this point you like look look <laughs> I, can, I can tell you exactly what's about to happen with me yeah you know, that's I, you know exactly. what i mean like that's i know exactly. what decision i gotta make and mm -hmm. i gotta decide it so mm -hmm. oh yes that's exactly what it is and that's why i appreciated or i could relate to what the title of this is more than just look because it really is way more than just look and you know I've, nowadays with social media of course people you only allow people to see what you want them to mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. but nothing just fell into my lap you know that's just not how it works so after so say like after one of your mistakes right how did you have to learn how to pivot to your like learn your next move after somebody countered your move? right um honestly i learned that i didn't learn that i think until i got to college where i had my very first setback and i'm just like what like mm -hmm. like the mr Krabs meme. i'm like <laughs> wait whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so this is this does not happen this whoa, is not, wait this is not how it's supposed to happen at all. <laughs> that's exactly how it was and 
honestly, um, my mom helped me a lot through that. And she was like, you're going to get through, you know, and I think it, it's a mindset thing. Definitely. Once you hit your first, um, I want to say your, t your first tough curve, though, you learn how to handle the rest of mindset is everything, you know, um, if your mind is strong, then your body and soul is strong. That's just what it is. They all three yeah. in unison, you know. So if one off, all three are going to be off. Yeah. But, you know, once I hit my first learning curve from there, all the the foundation of all the lessons were the same. You know, I knew if I kept my mind strong, then there was nothing. Honestly, they could deter me beside myself, you know. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you didn't need, that you thought you needed along the way? A lot of friends. <laughs> and okay. Yeah. Right. No, 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 that's real. No, you gotta let them know. You gotta be strategic with who you align yourself with. Oh yes, definitely. You know, some stuff just energy, other stuff you gotta be like, nope. No. Nope. This ain't I no, nope. I intentionally don't that's mess with not, you and I can't. Yes, it's that's not even about exactly. you. It's genuinely about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of things that you do are, is built off trust. Yeah. Oh, like even exactly. down to like your if you were to have your regular job at the mm -hmm. time, that's that's off trust. Like yes. what you do is off exactly. like every like exactly. based off everything exactly. your, your beliefs and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is that. And me, if I have to pick, I mean there are many words or adjectives to describe me, but loyalty is one of my main goals or one of my main things that I look for in anyone that I surround myself with and that's just because that's what I exude so mm -hmm. I'm not going to have anyone around me that doesn't do the same you know and with that why I said a lot of friends is just because <laughs> wow when people started to fall off things started to fall in place mm -hmm. and that's just as straightforward mm -hmm. as I can put it you know um I, I was losing people from high school or from middle school that I'm like, I would have never imagined us falling off. But I can tell you, as soon as they fell off, something better fell into place. And when I say better, I don't mean another person. I'm just saying something that was aligned with my path in mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the energy is everything. Like, keeping the negativity out, it, it's gotten very far. And to us, like this is like the the biggest way we can spread our small business mm -hmm. because us like we started out from nothing mm -hmm. and we've been able to grow to something. Mm -hmm. And when we go when we go to different cities, we have a certain impact. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so to us, expanding our brand is everything. Mm -hmm. Whether you touch two, three, four people, mm -hmm. regardless, you still have the same people you can go back right. to like a renewable resource right, right? Yeah. so how important is it to expand your brand and what does that actually look like like what like the networking that mm -hmm. you have to do to get your name out there to be able to be where you are yeah. okay mm -hmm. that's a great question oh come on with the heat okay <laughs> so with that question honestly um i just did me and let the rest follow honestly um and what I mean by that is I'm a naturally outgoing person, very bubbly, but my goals are my goals. And so I just followed those. And if I wasn't so much worried about who knew me or who didn't know me or everyone liking me, that's the least of my concerns. Mm -hmm. It's more so what I want in my life, you know. And so people who feel that or who rock with that they gravitate towards it yep, yep. those who don't because there are those who don't you know it's like how are you a scientist and you call yourself a model and you're doing this and you you know it's not the typical mode you mm -hmm. know which i've never fit into a typical mode so i'm okay with that you know and yep. so those who don't like it don't like it and those who do they're around you yep. know so right. that's how i can say networking or getting my name out there I believe that's how it happened. So how did you do it, like, physically? Physically, so when I'm on one move, I'm always planning the next one. So, is that what you mean? Like, how like, were you not, like actually, were you sending, like, were you sending out emails yeah, to people? Yeah. Uh -huh. like I'm saying sending your work to people because oh, okay. so, some okay. people take it for granted. Right. Like they think, okay, I just send me a, send uh -huh. a picture there. Right. They, they okay. see my name yes. and it's all good. Like no, no nigga, no nigga not, at all. Not, 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 like that—that's how it works. You gotta be on it. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? You yeah, gotta take the opportunity when it's there. Yes. Oh no, I definitely did not just 
I'm not even honestly a social media, like, I'm more so old school in that realm. <laughs> I believe taking the steps instead of the elevator, okay? Because mm-hmm. that's just, yeah, that's just what's natural to me, you know? Um, and I'm, you know, don't get me wrong, social media is a great tool. It can be, but for me, it just makes more sense to do it the paper route, okay. you know? And okay. so with that, I knew when I was in school, I mean, literally, and I was just looking at my browsers. Like, I would go from reading my anatomy books to looking up agencies and in different cities. I'm like, okay, I know on this date, I'm going to this big city. Mm -hmm. And I'm hitting this agency, that agency, that agency. That's exactly how I did it. Um, Now, granted, when I walked in to my first agency, that was the one for me, you know, and that's how I knew this is really what I was meant to do because that, that doesn't happen very often. So for that, I'm very thankful. Already perfect exactly, fit. exactly. Oh, yeah. I didn't have to travel very much, I will say that, but that was my plan. I didn't know that it would happen the way it did. So I was prepared to hit every major city and every agency that I felt of interest in, you know, and put in the work for it. Oh, absolutely. My first agency I was signed to, right? Mm-hmm. That's when I realized I had to be a freelancer. <laughs> yeah. because, because they weren't finding me any gigs. Okay. And That's so it's just like, well, I got a model man. Yeah. <laughs> I did what I had to do. You did what you had to do. I had to. That's, so, that's what it's about. So then I, that's how I started making my own network. Okay. At that yeah. point in time. Mm-hmm. And so that for that got when I got like St. Louis, I still had some type of network that connect okay. you to a few different other people. Okay. Right. Okay. And so then I like realized, okay, well, not a lot of opportunity for male models at this point in time. Mm-hmm. Let me get a camera. <laughs> so that's my pivot. Okay. You feel me? That, that yeah. was my switch over. So therefore, I could give other op- opportunities out mm-hmm. to inspire models to people yeah. that wanted wanted to be with. They yeah. didn't have the money. Yeah. And shit, headshots cost depending one fifty too much for people. Headshots cost. Photos, period. Photos, period. period. Yeah. Cost. They do. It's, it's very. It could be very costly. I agree with that. Yeah. And so if I could do something that's like in the middle, mm-hmm. or just you know maybe give. I did a few challenges at that point. Mm-hmm. I like gave people chances to win opportunity to have photo shoots to right. certain people. Right. So you know. Right. I think that's that's why I switched over. Mm-hmm. Just that to makes give, sense. Yeah. That makes and sense. And so we finna take a break real quick. Okay. Pause. What well, we going Cut that, bring it back, and then we come back to spit fire. Okay. All right. Oh, it's on already? It's on. Oh, it's on. It's on. Oh, okay. I'm going to get the popcorn. Yeah. We need a snack break. Mm-hmm. Because I want the popcorn the whole time. This whole time. That's the whole thing. He wanted to, he, <laughs> he was trying to get through the question. He's like, if I can get through these, I can get back to this popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was being said. No, I fucks with him. Like, this food right now, this snack that's on my right, on my that right. I don't want to reach for, because it's going to give my keyboard all greasy. And that's what y'all are fighting for. It's so close. It's so close. You got me so messed up. Wait, don't be rushing me through. Because that popcorn is in your right now. Wait a minute. It's so close. No. Okay, you know what? Let's <laughs> do. <laughs> no, no, you know. Answer all the questions. You answer all the questions really good though. Mm-hmm. Like you, you really came with it. Came with it. Got that. People, people, people know you as a person. And then you got your own image that you own, that you got. And you, you got control of. So it's like, hey, you good? Look. And then relax, you know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. No, my girl said this is different because I'm not, I was telling him, I don't know if he told you, but I'm more so like a private person, especially on social media. Like, I'm just. Well, we got hot and cold, correct? Hot or cold? Hot or cold? Are we starting? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, it's, let's get it in. We started. Okay. Hot or cold? Hot or cold, cold. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, why? Why? <laughs> because, okay, I feel like. You don't sleep, so it's not necessary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was sleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. cold when I when I need to go to sleep. No, I, okay. So for me, I feel like you can always make yourself warmer. Oh jeez. Yes, mm-hmm. but when Talk it's hot, it. when it's hot, you can get cold. You, you be hot. Hey, hey, no, but, you can go. So I, okay, for conservativeness, right? You <laughs> yes. sitting there saying, okay, well, I'd rather put on clothes than you just be naked. Yes. But at the end, yes. I wouldn't want to be naked though. Well, if you get too well, high, exactly. if you're you too high, high look, because when you I say mean, I'm, I will have to accept a certain level of being high, <laughs> high, high, 
t-shirt. But I won't, I won't be naked walking around no house. But no, no. But around. see, when you're cold, you don't have to accept that. You can layer up as much as you need. To. But you still can be cold. Cold. No, and that's why you cold. keep putting on <laughs> <up> the layers. <laughs> right. It's not cold different. <laughs> Like I was outside, I was warm up top, my ass cheeks was cold. I was so mad. <laughs> no, so you should have laid up, put on two, three pairs of underwear. Yeah, I probably should. Boxer briefs. Get to the top of my ass. <laughs> it all feels. I'm laying in the tub. Oh, ice bath. We we chilling. No, okay. I don't know about no ice bath. Well, we gotta figure it out if we that hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like air ain't no, working. Or yeah. something ain't no, working. I couldn't be hot. Hot is too much. No. All right. If there's anybody you could work with. Mm -hmm. Who would you work with? Yeah. Dead or alive? Facts. That's like such a big question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love it though. <laughs> I mean, okay. If I could work with anyone, dead or alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop, Stop. Stop. Just a little bit. Just hey. a little. Wait, wait a minute now. Um. Brie. I'm gonna go with her. Rihanna? Rihanna? Why? Not her. Because her business, the business model that she is, is just remarkable. I can I can respect okay. that. Like on many different levels. Well on that level. Yes. I like to work with Pablo Escobar. Why him? Cause that man had money in the dirt. Okay. That's uh, enough money. I understand that. He got money in the dirt. <laughs> I I I understand that. But see no. For me. Or Frank Lucas. I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. You ever seen American Gangster? No. Oh, gee. <laughs> good movies to watch. But we, I'll we, tell you about it. We, we, have, to, we have to help her. Just go, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we have to work. Help me through it. Help me through it. Jesus. I'll tell you about it. Is it kind of like a Scarface? Sort of. Yeah, okay. 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 Similar. Okay. Similar. But if you were going to be any type of movie, what movie would you be in? Action movie. Okay. That's easy. Would you be like the the hero or the <laughs> heroine? Heroine. <laughs> no. Heroine. No heroine. Oh, heroine. <laughs> heroine. <laughs> All right. What's the first thing you do or wake up to do in the morning? Um, I read positive quotes. Affirmations. Affirmations. Okay. Yes. Affirmations. Listen to my positive music. Yes. I'm at the email you do you things I give to my students. We t I teach self love. Mm -hmm. And so we do some, have you got some positive stuff. Oh, that, send it over. That you can, you know what I'm saying, hang on your wall after you write into it. Okay. And you're going, that's what, like, you know what I'm saying, that's the affirmation. I like that. I'll send it over to you. Oh, yeah, I do that for at least 30 minutes to an hour every day. Oh, that's necessary. Necessary. That's your, that's your own personal time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, emos or pie? Emos or pie? You mean like, Sweet potato pie? No, 314 pie. Like pie in the loop. Pie in the loop. The I'm feast never, place. I've never had that. So it's Emo's. Cool. I would pick Emo's <laughs> too because pie sauce is like no sugar. Yeah, by the way. Okay, well, yeah. It wouldn't work out for me. All right, what's your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Mm hmm. Let's get it. That's heels too. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shoes? Whatever. Stilettos, pumps, in the club. Hey, hey, hey. Da, 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 da. Okay, no copyright. <laughs> okay, chew that. Right. Chew that. Let's not. Okay. Um, my favorite pair of shoes would be my D and G heels. They're like. Is that Dolce and Gabbana? Yeah. Say it again. Dolce and Gabbana. Cool. I don't know if you said that. Hotter than the sun. Is that a song? No, I just put he that, just put that in there because okay. he's an artist too. Oh, okay, you okay. didn't know he's an artist too, okay, so he just be you know he be flowing. Maybe that was a, you know, a verse. I could, hey, I could have put something together. <laughs> you could have. You could have got me. Put it I was about to use the song already. Ooh, All right, cool. <laughs> Perfect. Ideas. Yeah, that way. Okay. Um, what's your favorite drink? Mm. That's a good one. Alcohol or non-alcoholic. It makes no difference. Okay. My favorite drink. Arizona iced tea. It's a watermelon favorite. Oh, she's a real one. She's a real one. Yeah. You like that one? She's a real one. Boy, yeah. I, had, boy, yeah. I had one a day. Yeah, you did. Yes, yeah. ma'am. It's necessary. It's motherfucking necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona. Oh, nice, that's interesting. That's, that's, that's probably the shocker for everybody right there. That's, that's going to go viral. <laughs> They're like, 
She just right. be drinking at his own. Yeah. The Lucha, 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 Lucha Mangoes. The Lucha Mangoes. Ah, they're not the best. They're not the best. They're, they're good. good. They're, they're good. good. They're good. They're good. They're good. good. They're 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 good. they are good 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 they are
see y'all superpowers. I'm not under. But that, but that was random though. It was, <laughs> you're going back terrible. in time to look. <laughs> like, what? Look, that, I'm going. I'm reading people's minds to help them be better. You no, know, he's I going had, in the dark. Too. Now he going. Now, now we in the green on him. <laughs> now we're we're here on him. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. We here on his. I promise you. Like, I, no, no, but, but, I, but, but I said but I wanted to say something different. Well, no, you just like, changing it. See, he, he didn't change see, every time. Like, and I'm like, so he's thinking. But you know what? That's what growth is about. <laughs> now, technically, you digressed on the second one, so I mean, you will. I got to come back up. You, you redeem yourself. Yeah. So talk to us. Come on, if I had one superpower. Yep. Let God be God. Jesus. <laughs> Let God be God. <laughs> He don't even know. I would be able to, with the snap of the finger, kill people. Get him. Come on, me. Get him. Just. Now you see, this not me. Get him. Because I'm telling you, Jay, Jay be having the weirdest stuff and he be thinking it's going to make shit better. <laughs> and that's what? my issue. You didn't even he finish fit. the sentence. And I'm, I'm like, like uh, I'll be able to snap my fingers. And what? And my enemy would die. Why? <laughs> okay. All right. That is. And he went extreme, don't he? <laughs> extreme. <laughs> Why the hell is not here? Why are you First off, it? like. It's on my ground. Because it's on your whim of a feeling. Exactly. That's the issue. Like, you know what I'm saying? A person can be, come and be an enemy, and then all of a sudden it's like, you know what? We didn't figure it out. So yeah, we didn't exactly. Figure this out. Yes, I agree. So I'm Jay, you didn't, one disagreement, three disagreements, you enemy, bam, all snaps. Like, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. And then literally, you don't even know. He's, they supposed to be there later. All right, just all right. I'll take it back. We'll cut that. If I could, if I could talk, to, if I could talk to animals. <sighs> Next question. Next question. All right. Oh no, I, I do wish you could talk to animals because you can talk to my puppy right now. I need. Oh, you should. Yeah, she. Was if, you, baby. if you were stuck on an island, oh jeez, and you only had three things with you, mm -hmm. what would you bring? What? Okay, that's easy. I would. A submarine. Didn't, so don't I can you get take back shit home. from her. Don't you take <laughs> nothing from her. Because <laughs> he's gonna ask you, do you know how to drive one? <laughs> don't, don't. Listen to him. He tried to take this away from my other guests, and at this end, end of the day, we are not yeah. having it. Not, but with, not, she, with won't ever, we not. she won't ever die. Because <laughs> submarine, they be in the water for years. That's too bad. Yeah, I but can, I mean, I can she can't can die. Too. But you don't know where you're going. What you mean? It's a submarine. <laughs> This mother got navigation. She got she got autopilot. <laughs> I don't know how to put it in autopilot. She's a scientist. Don't be disrespectful. Oh, she know how to read a manual. But he said, <laughs> I, where's I, the manual, Dad? There's always a manual. Where's the manual, Dad? Probably in the glove department. Exactly. In the submarine. <laughs> yes. Where's the fucking glove department, Dan? What you mean? In the in the dog room, right there in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Typically, you know what? It's gonna be somewhere in that mug that she'll have time. She has more than enough time to find it. Not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. Weekdays or weekends? Weekends. Wow, oh, that's easy. It's only two of them though. I don't care about none of that. I want the weekend. You don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> that's real. All right. Well, that's the end of the Spitfire round, right? Okay. So we have this new segment. No, it's not. It's more. Uh -uh. No, it's definitely not. But we do have a set new <laughs> segment called "When you posted this, what did it mean?" Let's and so, what will happen is when you he'll show you a picture, uh -huh. gonna, it's gonna pop up on the screen. Okay. You gotta read it though, Let's or you go. gotta talk about it. Okay. Go on. All right. It's hilarious. So, okay. so here we go. Okay. That right there. So that is when I was almost done getting my master's degree. Okay, okay. And I had it set that after I graduated, I was going to pursue my dreams. Okay. And I, I felt comfortable doing that. I said, you know, she designed a life she loves. And so I just knew that everything I designed and put on my plate, you're going to kill. I'm going to kill. That's it. Okay. I'm going to love it. I, it it's, I put it there, so I'm going to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we also got your big motivation. 
big motivation. Big, yeah. you saying? Especially, you know what I'm saying? She said, football. hold on, I'm going to tell you what she told us. <laughs> what she, oh, what, yeah. what she, she said she slept in a full face of makeup. <laughs> oh, oh, do we deal? Mm -hmm. This is fact. <laughs> and then she said, if you're going to wipe it off, wipe up. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, because so, it stops the wrinkles. Stops the wrinkles. That is Stop the that is completely true. That is true, y'all. Yeah. Hey, so, I'm just saying we need our research. We need the research. Wipe up. Cause your teeth, your teeth's old right here. Is it? Yeah. Is it? It be really? hella shiny. Oh, you know yeah, see that? You wipe up. You wipe mm -hmm. up. So Thank you. I appreciate it. And that then we also the J roller. <laughs> the J is green. For it hurts. If you didn't know what it is, imported, mm -hmm. handmade actually. Jade roller. Jade. Oh, Jade yes. Y'all get you a jade roller, okay? I'm telling you, if you have a, a bad night, it, mm -hmm. it happens to all of us, mm -hmm. okay? And you need your designer bags just wiped away, the jade roller. And roll up. Ro the roll up, yeah. You don't want no wrinkles. Not not no self inflicted wrinkles. I mean, ooh, there we go. Self you, ooh, that's what I said. Yeah. I like that one. Because how, how, how do they usually do, like, he, you know what I'm saying? They, it's like a. You can't do that. that, <laughs> that that's gonna bring the wrinkles. It's mm -hmm. gonna bring the wrinkles. That's too much tension. In too this much head. tension. Yeah, you you know you have a lot of elastic fibers in your mm -hmm. skin, and so when you when you keep doing this, mm -hmm. you aging. Your your skin can't pop back as much. You know, it's those alpha linkages, you know, beta. She I, she. <laughs> scientists talk. That's scientists talk. That's scientists talk. Scientist talk. So let's exactly talk about is, the truth. Okay? You feel me? Don't let your happiness be tampered with by those not fortunate enough to have their own. So honestly, and I didn't even. That's not a quote I got from anywhere. That's just. That's what that's I that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's to me. That that sounds like some kind of shit. Like how you gonna tell me about what I do and you ain't never bought like about a house and you ain't never bought one. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's true. Like, I agree. I agree. Um, probably it goes into play with the same post you just showed me, the one before. It it was just it was probably a mindset thing for myself that I also had to instill for myself. Mm -hmm. Like, let's be honest. Am I going? Every everyone who talks, you don't have to listen to them. Yeah. You know. Yep. And so let's be honest. I had hit a point where I'm like, um, I appreciate what you say. But I might not always, I might not always consider it, and so that's most likely what that post was alluding to, you know. And I get a lot of questions about like how I navigate through the different things I do without worrying about, you know, people or what they have to say or what they think. That's exactly what it is. Nine times out of ten, if someone is willing to taint your happiness, mm -hmm. they're unhappy. They're happy. Yeah, and that's that's what it is. Okay. So. So how would you like to how would you like to be uh, remembered? How would I like to be remembered? It's mm -hmm. a good question. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, let me think about this. Um. Uh, wait, is this still wait? Is that it? What yeah. Oh no, we are gonna hit you with the the shabang. The shabang. This is the boom. This is the boom. Cause you gotta I let people know. See, people be wanting more, and it's like this is all we. This is what we do. <laughs> it's like y'all didn't do it. Y'all didn't do nothing. Like, it's like, it's just, mm, we, we just have a good conversation, and we say, uh, hold on, <laughs> uh, exactly. Right, we need to know but what we do want to know is, like, you know shit. Who? And like, we bring it back to you. Will we see, like, in you know, twenty years, thirty years, forty years, and what will she be remembered for? Right. And, and That's was it question. intentional? You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, was it what, even intentional? Was it intentional? Because right now you got to be intentional about what you want to be doing, what you're doing. I like, agree. Because it's your level. I agree. It's, what it's, you say, it's level it's to this. Level to this. <laughs> like, you got your inspiring models that, let me put this back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got your inspiring models that, like, they want to be where you are, but they don't know the groundwork that it takes to get there. Like, mm -hmm. you have to be out. Yeah. Which is networking, mm -hmm. and then you get seen. Then the other photographers, because you see the other photographers in the club, mm -hmm. they want to do other stuff mm -hmm. rather than shoot. So that's the whole network you got to build mm -hmm. and the trust that you have to build. Right. Which is going to take it outside of the club. So therefore, like then you start having you're able to take those that work that you've done with the, those photographers mm -hmm. and send it out. Mm -hmm. But they don't see the importance of just those two steps. Yeah. Like after they think they know one person, I think that's all that's cool. Mm -hmm. But you need mm -hmm. to know multiple people. 
I agree. Mm -hmm. Because other people shoot different ways. Yeah, I agree. And you have to be able to differentiate between who to know. You mm -hmm. don't have to know everybody. Yep. You know? Nah, you don't. <laughs> you, don't do not. you have to, to know not. who to know. Because, and that's the thing. None, that's why that's a funny question. Not a funny question, but a question. I'm just like, wow, that's a good question. Because everything I do is intentional, but not all the time for in the eyes of everyone else if mm -hmm. that makes mm -hmm. like what i do i do how can i word this what i do is not like i wonder what everyone else will think about this i don't i don't think like that you know i i honestly do do what i feel is best and do what i feel my purpose is mm -hmm. and it falls in line with what my what people might like to see you mm -hmm. know? So do you, what do you think your purpose is Good question. Oh, look at you. Wait, I haven't even answered the last question. You coming with another one. Okay, okay, but I'm going to answer so though. We're going to come back to it. We're going to hit it. Gonna hit this this is how fast we move. Because like, you, you answer the question, but now it's time to answer another question. Like, like, I, I didn't say how I wanted to be remembered yet. We're going to get back to it. Okay, we're going to get back to it. Because it all answers, it's going to come back. It's going to come back full circle. Yeah. Okay. What, what do you think your purpose is? Good question. So, um, Mm. I believe, I honestly believe my purpose is to inspire other women to write their own narrative. And what I mean by that is not go by the stereotypes that society throws or the boundaries that society may place, not only on just women, but even African American women. You know, All right. So, what type of niche? narrative mm -hmm. would you be able to teach mm -hmm. and give them to be able to ride their own wave or um go their own path and do that freely okay well there's a song and i really relate to it and i will um, i don't know it verbatim but this is what i go by if i were a writer then i use my words and if i were a speaker then i use my voice but i'm a model so i use my image so just like that, cause hey, cause I didn't know where it was gonna go. With that. I was like, <laughs> it was like a breakdown, right? If I was a, if I was a blacksmith, I create the hell out of some swords. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I thought if I was a president, I'd be ruling the country the best way possible. If I was a police officer, uh. I'd be enforcing the law.